Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and yeah, I know, I'm back. I'm sorry, I took a break for about three weeks. Um, you guys probably heard about YouTube burnout, and if you don't know what it is, I can explain to you. There's a lot of things that may cause so much burnout of YouTube. One of them probably is my fault, what is, you know, I was releasing videos every day, but after a while, it gets tiring, and you're doing the same type of thing, like in job, when you do something and it's repetitive, you, you may have some issues. Now, the three weeks that I took a break, I actually used to work. And, and when I say work, I mean actual work. I mean, that's too tiresome. You know how it is. Now, I actually did a lot of research and, and tried to look into where I want to go with the channel. Um, and it was great because I will still be talking about the same type of issues we're talking here in the channel. If you guys want, just let me know in the comments. I'm still going to be covering some of the Reddit stories. But basically, I'm going to be talking about the people. So, not just on Reddit, but all around the world lately. Uh, if you guys watch the news, stuff like that's happening all the time. And it's happening here on YouTube too. I'll give an example. So, a lot of the big channels, they stop being referred by YouTube because they're cringy. Something that YouTube as a platform, until not too long ago, used to say it was okay. And, you know, that's what people wanted. They want someone's opinion. They want something different. But right now, they would not accept it. Uh, as an example, during the three weeks that i actually been away, as per se, I've been running a little bit of tests on, on the platform, uh, some stuff that goes on with the algorithm. And one of the things I found out is if people give you enough money, <coughs> YouTube going to block your videos. And, and I had that example with uh, the new move that just came out, Dark Phoenix. So I did a, a reaction video about that. And like I said, it's not that I comment about videos, really. I may still do a couple of them, most when it has to do with uh, comic books that I love so much. But the problem is, there's something that you guys probably heard about, and it's a fair act. That means if I'm going to talk about the movie, if I'm going to give my opinion on something, I'm actually allowed to use the footage, I'm allowed to use the, the trailers and everything. Well, yeah. Up to the point that the company is bought by the House of Miles. <laughs> so, I tried to use some of the trailers and everything, and what happened was, I didn't even got the little yellow eye that says I'm going to be sharing revenue, or the little slash on the eye that tells me that I'm not going to monetize. I got the slash on the eye that told me the video could not be seen anywhere in the world. And that's a problem because you can fight it and it's not a big issue for the most part, but it takes about 30 days for an answer and it really depends on the answer of the company. Now, I understand if Fox was fighting me on that. The problem is before the video was fully uploaded, it was hourly with that mark. What it means YouTube was protecting Dark Phoenix because the movie crashed. Um, so it had a little bit of a in on the whole issue. And you may think, well, that probably happens with any other movie or any other show. Well, not really, because then I also made a reaction about the TV show Swamp Thing. And I used a lot of footage. I got no hits at all. And that's what I'm saying. So a lot of people are burned out also because of that, because every video they put out, they got to fight with YouTube. When I put out Reddit videos, I do have this issue and it is horrible for one reason. The moment you're not getting fully monetized, YouTube kind of blocks your video a little bit. If I would have 70% of the platform uh, recommend my video, it goes down to about 10, 20%. What it means, instead of a few thousand people 
you know, have the choice to choose my video, I have a couple of dozen people and that affects a lot of people. So again, not the reason why I'm actually moving out a little bit from Reddit videos, because to be honest, if I directly give my opinion about some of those same issues, I'm probably going to get hit a lot more, but at least I'm going to be directly attacking the people that YouTube tells me I'm attacking. I'm not just reading what happened to someone else. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, guys, pretty much that's what I'm doing. I'm changing the channel a little bit. I need your help a lot and it's not through Patreon or anything like that. What I need from you guys, because the more I learn about YouTube, the more I learn how every single detail works on the new algorithm. And it's pretty much just leave me a comment, leave me a like. I know everybody asks for that, but now I know creators are asking even more because that's really driving if their video is going to be seen or not. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, it would be great. If you have subscribed already, the only thing I ask is stay on the channel. At least give me a chance, give me a couple of videos to see if you guys can enjoy the new direction or not. You know what I mean? Or tell me what you think about all that. Let me know. You guys know what I want to do. You know the direction I want to go. Give me opinions of what you want to actually see on the channel. It's been great. You guys have been making my life really fun. I mean, I don't care how many people watch videos. Sure, more people, more fun. But every time I get a comment, even if that's to tell me that something was a little off, that the person didn't like something, but the moment someone gives me an actual constructive comment, uh, I'm sorry, constructive criticism, it's great because that's a way for me to actually improve what I do. And I love that. And I love you guys. I'm not just saying that for you to stick with me, you know. I'll send kisses. But basically, that's what it is. You guys, you guys being just amazing. You have no idea. Uh, I know everybody says that, but to be honest, I would say most creators do mean when they say that to their people. Um, Again, thank you, and I'll be seeing you guys this week still. Uh, I don't even say I don't even know how to say how much I thank you guys. So, see you this week. Uh, I don't know who I' gonna be upsetting besides YouTube. Definitely YouTube. I' uh, gonna have to probably redo about twenty times the same videos, uh, but that's fine. You know what? You guys deserve it. I'll still keep the same content. I'll fight whoever I have to. I hope you guys have a great end of Sunday, a great week. If I don't see you earlier, I mean, I will, maybe you won't see me, but thank you guys. Have a good night.